Alright, hello, it's Amarine here again for the FTM team. Um, <laughs> that thing that I do every Saturday, or at least most Saturdays, sometimes I post a little bit early or late. Uh, yeah, so I don't know if you guys ever care, but I'm wearing the same thing that I'm wearing. I wore last video, it's because I'm recording it the same day, because <laughs> I have another show <laughs> next Saturday that I can upload during, but I have tech, so I can't, it's like 12 hours long, I can't record during that, um, but I can upload. So, this will be uploaded on time, just will be recorded a week early. Uh, and the topic this week is confidence, which is an awesome topic. Um, I love this topic. <laughs> How do you sort of get confidence or gain confidence? Uh, which is, I think, wow, I just love this topic. I think it's so important, because um, it can be really easy to get down, you know, and dysphoric and like, or just, you know, not very confident. Um, part of it definitely is time. With time, as you start sort of you know, doing your thing, living as male or whatever, and sort of the trans male-ish, trans masculine-ish, however you identify in that spectrum, or, or gender queer or whatever, you know, whatever your gender identity is, once you really start just living that, um, because you're living it, and it's because it's something so true to you inside, sort of once you really work out living what that is that's inside of you, um, you feel a lot more confident. You just feel a lot, uh, you just feel a lot better about yourself. So can, yeah. You just feel a ton better about yourself. Um, you just feel more like, yeah, this is me. Um, and you eventually start to become more confident uh, if you identify as male in, like, male spaces. Um, and even if you identify in sort of more non-binary, uh, if there are non-binary spaces that you go to sometimes, uh, you'll start to feel more confident in those too. So that's really great. Um, but in the meantime, it can be really difficult, I think, to be in, you know, male space or, like, you know, certain spaces, um, and, and have a lot of confidence, so, so like socially. Um, I mean, just like being out for me helped my confidence huge. Like, I had confidence, but I was just not like very outspoken. I was just sort of like, I don't know, sort of depressed a lot and stuff, um, angry. So I just like wasn't that social, and now I'm a lot more so because I feel so much better with myself. Um, however, actually. Uh, like, you know, doing things like using the men's bathroom, stuff like that, it took a while for me to get, like, okay with that. Um, and for me, it was a question of first, you know, starting out in areas that are, like, you know, pretty safe, um, whether it's going to the bathroom, whether it's sort of doing whatever, um, even if it's just sort of, you know, starting to, you know, talking about, you know, like, life as a guy, um, whatever, like, it can be a lot of little things that you cannot be, you cannot be confident about, but start with people that know and respect you for who you are, and maybe, you know, even know that you are transgender, um, but you know that are safe spaces, start there, and it'll be much easier, I think, you know, once you sort of try that out, and, you know, find places where you get positive responses, or people that, you know, don't respond negatively, um, and that really is great for sort of, you know, affirming from the outside your identity, um, so yeah. Uh, like, for me, when I started using the ba male bathroom, I had to use it, uh, I just used exactly, there was one, um, it was in the arts building, where some of my classes are, and mostly theater kids who knew me used that bathroom, so I knew I was gonna run into people who, like, I knew from other classes, or who really knew me before, I knew everyone would probably be really respectful, um, and even though I was really nervous to start doing it, I did, and now I use the male bathroom pretty much everywhere on campus, but it was just a question of, like, having to build up that confidence over time. Um, another, let's see, another thing, uh, another way kind of day-to-day that I gain confidence is by occasionally, like, if I'm feeling really down, like, taking pictures every once in a while of yourself and just looking at them and being like, hey, I look really, you know, if you really sort of manly, I look really manly, or I look really, you know, fabulous, or I look really, you know, whatever. Um, and that's a good way to gain confidence. Another way is, uh, you know just sort of talking to your friends and stuff, um, about how, you know, if you're feeling that confident, or just about your gender identity, um, another way to gain confidence can be, you know, going over all the different traits in your head, to just that make you awesome, like, that make you you, and that make you awesome, and, like, not even, even if they're not, like, societally super masculine, um, just think about them and think about how, you know, they make who you are, um, yeah, they make you who you are. Uh, a great tip, I guess, I said my main tip, I guess, would be, uh, to remember that you define your identity. So if you identify as male, 
you identify what that is. Like, if you identify as a man, that's you. Like, you get to pick any- because every single man on this planet is different. Every single, you know, agender or neutrosis or gender queer person or whatever is totally different. They're their own person. Like, every person, you know, who identifies as male or gender queer or female or whatever else they identify as brings to the table themselves as part of that identity. So, you know, when you say, hey, I'm a guy, I want to, you know, do this or that to transition or I just want to identify this way, it's something inside of you that drove you to do that. So you don't need to compare yourself to, like, the way society defines, you know, whatever that identity is. You don't need to compare yourself to that at all because it's you. It's who you are and your men- like your mentality and your perspective and your own traits that led you to um, identify as that. So, you know, think about what all, even if they're not, like, stereotypical, think about what all those things are and just own it, you know? Go out and be like, hey, a lot of the time I felt like I couldn't say this or do this or act in this way because people perceive me as blank. But really, I'm, you know, male or a man or a you know, teenage boy or whatever instead. So I'm going to go out and, you know, do this because that's how I identify and people can't tell me what to do. Like, you know, do that. Um, so try try using that mentality. That, that's actually really helped me in terms of confidence. I had a really good friend who sort of recommended that, and I think it's a great tip. Um, the other one is, of course, for me, talking to my lovely, lovely significant other. Uh, that always helps me, because, you know, having someone there, even if it's not a significant other, who loves you and is supportive, and it's just like, hey, you know what? When you're having a bad day, and they're just like, hey, you know what? You're awesome, and here's some of the reasons you're awesome, and I totally believe in you and your identity, and here's how I've seen you, you know, like, become, like, you know, grow and keep getting, like, improving as a person, and, like, and all that, and that can really sort of help you to gain perspective and uh, build some confidence. So yeah, hope that was <laughs> somewhat coherent and helpful. Um, I sort of just had fun talking there, so I hope that was, you know, pretty good. And uh, see you guys next week. Cheers. Bye.